welcome back to my channel. Uh, I know it's been a, about a week since I posted, but I have been, I've had a rough, I had a rough week last week. Um, I'm not going to get into everything, but just, uh, just know it was dealing with my anxiety and due to my asthma flaring up, I had to get a steroid shot and that triggers anxiety and it really triggered my anxiety I I could not function so I didn't think that it would be a good idea for me to do a video I didn't want to craft I didn't even want to be by my dogs and those my dogs are the ones that helped me through my anxiety so that's how bad it was but anyways I took the day off so that I can just chill and continue to ease my mind um, I'm sitting here with my ex essential oil my diffuser going so I'm about to craft my wreath for my front door um, what I'm using is I actually was going to do a, pro a Christmas project um, DIY with this it's actually a candy cane wreath form and um, I ended up not doing what I was going to do and what I did was basically just wrap it in um, jute twine and so I'm going to take two, since I have extra, I'm going to take two and combine this to make a heart. Um, they have the heart forms uh, as I've shown in the previous video, but they're not as big as what this is going to be. And I'm going to use this wreath for my front door. So what I'm going to do is um, zip tie these together and then I'm going to do something totally different on this side compared to what this is. I want it to look rustic um, so that I can use it beyond Valentine's Day. I'll probably keep it up till the um, beginning of March uh, and create something totally different for my spring wreath. But that's what I'm going to do. And once I zip tie these together, I'll come back. Okay, so I have it zip tied. I used three different three um, zip ties, and I just used one um, in the back here, and then one in the back here, and then one here, just to get those together. And this is how big it is. Um, of course, you have to turn one of the hearts inside out um, in order to get it to. I'm sorry, one of the the candy canes inside out in order for it to actually look like a heart so um, from there I am going to cut up me some ribbon um, and I have I'm using this one uh, this in the pink and I'll be using that one um, this one and because I, my my front door is black, so I want to incorporate some black in there as well. So I'll be using those as well. Okay, so I've cut a, a good bit of ribbon. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I take, I tried to cut them the same length um, for each color that I was using. So I am going to fold this over and... many at once so let me just try to do two at a time Which way it goes around this one. Well, I guess either way is fine, but basically I'm just kind of trying to make it look like something on the ends. Do the same 
design thing for pink. Totally jacked this one up. It looks like an arrow. <laughs> oh, but I'm still going to use it. it again. <laughs> oh well. So I'm, I'm going to still use some zip ties. Um, I'm going to be taking one of each color. Actually, I gotta, I gotta fix this. It's, it's, it's annoying. I gotta fix it. going to so I am taking them in no particular order and I have well yeah in a particular order because I want um, and I'm going to scrunch these together like this and zip tie them on to the reach. And I will um Cover up the zip ties um, with jute twine when I'm done. But see how it's gonna, I'm gonna go up the wreath like that and then I'm gonna fill in the gaps as well. Um, I don't have many, I only have one, two, three, four, four more zip ties. So I'm gonna have to make this a little bigger, um, I think. So I'll come right back. I'm gonna cut off some more ribbon because I didn't cut enough off. And I'll come back. Okay, guys. So, um, I did cut off the ribbon. And I went ahead and added each set. Uh, as you can see, the zip tie. I was short a zip tie. I needed at least to make one more of these. So, I ended up using this ribbon. Because it's so flexible to tie this one on. And to make it look unisense with the others I think I'm going to just go ahead and cut off some ribbon and tie instead of covering up the other ones with jupe twine I'm going to just tie ribbon this ribbon um, around the, the black jupe twine um, not jupe twine I'm sorry the zip ties um, and then once I'm done with that 
I'm just going to go in with the black, any black ribbon that I have and fill in the gaps. As you can see, it's a little space. I did, try, I did start tying in some down there just to see how it's going to look. And when I am done, I will come back with the finish. Well, it's not going to be finished because I do want to add some more little embellishments on here. Probably on this side, um, it's, it's going to be one of these hearts. Um, maybe, I don't know how, if, if that's going to work out or not. Um, but I plan to wrap this heart into, in some, in that, uh, rope, this little string that I bought. I want to wrap it because the pink, I just don't like the glitter on this, this heart. So I'll, I'll see if I'm going to end up doing what I had, my, had in mind. We'll see how it looks after I get all of this, um, black and white in here. Um, I might not need to add anything else. Um, okay guys, so I am almost done. I'm not going to add that art, that heart, the other heart on here. I'm going to use that for another project. Um, what I have been doing is just kind of filling in the gaps, um, with ribbon. Uh, and I will add a picture of it hanging on my door at the end of the video. Um, I am going to add this EXO um, to it. I love how this turned out. I want to add a couple of more ribbon. I love this ribbon. This, um, I need to get more of this. This ribbon right here is so pretty. It's this ribbon that I have right here. And I use my scissors to make it curly on the ends. But it is so pretty. I also have a little bit throughout this part. I think I want to add some more. And add some more that's hanging down from here. And then I add it down at the bottom as well. So, um, with that being said, I'm not going to be doing too much more. So, I probably won't film the rest of it. I'll just, at the end, show you guys how it looks hanging up on my door. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you were new to my channel, um, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button. I um, will be doing more uh, DIYs soon uh i have a couple of more things for valentine's day that i want to do um and then i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you guys uh my valentine's decor as of, of um of course i don't have a lot um this is actually my first time doing all this for valentine's day um i usually am just the person that just go all out for christmas but i decided since i have turned into a crafter I am going to try to decorate for all of the seasons, all of the little holidays. Um, I probably won't do anything for St. Patrick's Day. But, um, yeah. With that being said, I thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.